I was listening again to a number of different uh, sermons from Erwin McManus, uh, Mosaic Church out in Hollywood, California. And he said in the sermon, he said, God wishes to kill your ego, not your ambition. It is God's desire to kill your ego, not your ambition. That message of God wants to kill your ego, not your ambition. The entire last four or five miles that I was running, I kept thinking, I had this goal, like I'm gonna run a half marathon, I'm gonna do it in under two hours. Um, And so I kept struggling, going back and forth with, why on earth do you wanna run these 13.1 miles in less than two hours? And I was like, because it's a goal and I got to have goals and I got to have something to go after. And as soon as I do it and I, and I hit one hour and 59 minutes, I'm going to f- feel incredible. But then part of me said, oh, but, but you're going you're gonna to screenshot that, right? Like you're going to screenshot your Map My Run app and you're going to post that to your Instagram story, right? And so are you doing it for you? Are you doing it because you're competing with yourself? Or is it your ego that you want to show other people that you went out and did something great today that you did something that you've never done today is it really for you or is it for the appearance are you seeking to be known or are you seeking to be worth knowing are you seeking to be great or are you seeking the appearance of great when in reality on the inside there's nothing you can't feed your family and your ego at the same time and that's one of the biggest things i see across social media as i see egos being fed egos being fed Ego's being fed. It's like social media becomes this machine to feed people's ego. But you cannot feed your ego and your family at the same time. I think once that you once you come to that realization, your world will be unlocked. But I don't have really any time to waste on the opinions of others that want to talk about who's humble and who's not. Humble is something that you either are or you aren't. It's not something that you show on an Instagram post. It's not something that you show in a, in a Facebook Live. It's how you treat others. It's how you treat the people around you on a regular basis. It's how you treat other people and it's the things that you do when other people aren't around that prove your humility. And at the end of the day, you can have the craziest, wildest, most incredible lifestyle in the world. But if you put the work in to get it, and you appreciate that law of reaping and sowing, then that's winning. You will have so many different new perspectives on the way that you see the world, the way that you use social media, uh, and the way that you go about your life and relationships and everything that you have. Ego is the enemy. If you've read that book, Ryan Holiday, it's an incredible book, Uh, but it's, it's just a fact. You will not feed your family and your ego at the same time. So the the sooner, the quicker you kill your ego, um, the faster that you're going to be headed towards success. But man, you know that who do you think you are? Um, I've come to an interesting realization lately. Um, Been really working through it over these last six months in that with ego, those that appear to have the biggest in fact have the least because the ability to say i I could absolutely care what you think that that comes across as 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 i have the biggest ego but the reality is what it means is like i'll do anything for you i just don't care like your opinion just is of no difference to me uh and those that i have found that look from the outside looking in look to be the just the biggest ego like this guy's just completely full of himself and you get to know the person it's actually the exact opposite yeah. uh, and i think it's because it's because of it <laughs>